When you're making beats, if you want to make any improvements, you got to know what is wrong with it to begin with. Okay, it was out of tune. Now these hi-hats are a little, little wild. This kick drum is sounding a little bit long. Oftentimes, I've come across about three to four things that I think are the most common mistakes that producers make when they're making their beats. So you might be wondering, what are they and how do we fix them? They are your melody, your drums, your sound selection, and mixing. In this video, I'm going to be taking beats that you guys sent to me on my Discord server. Make sure to follow, link in the description, and on the community tab. Welcome to another video. My name is Siki Beats. Let's get into it. The first beat that we have is from producer Minaz. Let's see what he sent us. So we're going to isolate the melody here. I'm just going to drop this down like to drop the 808 down as well. Drop it down six. What we're trying to do is trying to find a punchy and distorted 808 sound. And then I might actually layer a kick. There we go. Let's record that in. I think we can layer a kick drum on top of this. I'm going to paste it on there. Select all of it. Alt K. Limit it to C5. Now this one, I think it sounds good. I don't think it's a mixing. It's still sounding stereo. Turn this to mono. And then I'm going to put on a gate from FL Studio stock plugin. And we're going to try and shorten the sound of that hi-hat. But I'm going to make it a little bit more punchy. And again, you can always use stock plugins or third-party plugins, but I'm going to use the transient processor because that's the one that I have right now. And we're going to combine back and forth between these two plugins to create that sound of punchiness without me replacing it with a new hi-hat pattern. Now, all of what I've done so far has a little bit to do with sound design. And if you want to see a video about sound design, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Now, the snare drums, he's got a couple of these here. So I'm going to just replace it with a single sound and I'm going to just put one in here, place a pattern for it. Layer that with this one here. I'm still not convinced that this choice of tweaking it is gonna quite get us there. Sometimes all you have to do is just have the right sound. And sometimes the most generic sounding sounds are going to be the ones that work the best. By the way, I have a bunch of free kits coming out this year. So if you're interested in any of these free sounds that I'm gonna be using, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow me on social media and I'll uh, let you guys know when this is available. To me, the, some of the sound effects that he's using here are not quite modern enough, specifically this one here. I think we can do a little bit better, so I'm gonna turn that one off. I like this drum fill that he has, which sounds like this. I think what will sound even better is if we can actually make this a straight eighth note drum fill rather than a triplet drum fill. And I think this will sound a little bit better. We can emphasize this with some more heavier sound effects. I think that'll actually hit it nicely. As you can hear, the sound effects that I've added really just elevate the beat to a different level. And if you guys want some essential sound effects to soup up your beats, I've got a free pack. I just want you guys to give me some feedback on it so that I can make improvements on the finished pack. It'll be linked in the description. Try it out. Let me know what you think. I think what it's kind of in need of is some sort of underlying elements. So we're going to just go to the Prophet 5. I think honestly, that's a nice little layer. Nice little texture there. That sounds really cool. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna play you guys the finished result. We got another track here from a producer by the name of Julian. Let's see what he sent us.
The immediate first thing that catches me is the mixing of the song, which I feel like there's a lot of heavy compression happening, especially on, I think, the bell sound. The drums are getting lost in the mix. It's hard for me to hear the musical note clearly. Let's first get started with the melody and the mixing of it to see what we can get with it. Here's a really cool producer gem that might not seem like a gem, but it'll make sense. You can actually EQ the tone of your entire beat simply by playing with the balance of the different instruments. For example, if I just leave this melody two all the way at zero, it sounds kind of dark. As soon as I bring in this higher layer, now it has a little bit of glitteriness. It has some polishness to it. Let's tackle this brass. Okay, it was out of tune. This is cool, but what we're going to do is we're actually gonna just layer this, stack this up an octave. Let's go over to the drums now. Now these hi-hats are a little, little wild for my taste, so this actually is calling for a soft hi-hat. All right, kick drum and snare drum. I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I learned in school where we turn the threshold up and we just bring up the ratio to kind of add a little compression. This is a Joe Barisi trick, famous engineer. And I might even add some reverb to this to help it kind of ring out a little bit. Perfect. This is getting closer. This kick drum is sounding a little bit long. I think the pattern isn't also working again for this one. So we'll replace this here again. Finally, on our master, just a, just a nice old classic soft clipper. Copy over these crash cymbals. Add in like a nice big impact. I'm just going to put in something from the essential sound effects and dress this up because that I think is really what's going to give it the polish. Take something like this, turn it to stretch, shorten it, then maybe like a, a nice big swoop. Something like that. All right, let's listen to the before and after and see how we did on this beat. This next beat is from producer by the name of Zoo or Zuzu. Let's see what he sent us. As you can hear, this beat is actually sounding pretty good already. I think we're looking at the drums and the mixing. The melody is cool. The sound selection for the melody is cool. But really for me is the drum sound selection and the mixing of the overall beat so far. So let's go to that clap here and make that sound. Normalize it, bring it into right there. It'll fade, it'll up. And we're just going to versus and then the hi-hat pattern i feel like we've gotten a little too wild with it i think we want to keep it a little bit more straight because we want it to bounce with the melody we're going to repeat some parts from the beginning we're just going to go over to this 808 here we'll make it a little bit more mono and what we're going to do to make it a little bit more polished glittery sounding is i'm going to put ott on it which will kind of add a little sheen on the top end this is our kick drum and we got another one over there. But what I want to do is actually normalize this one and filter it down, make it shorter and then turn up the volume here. That sounds good to me right there. We got another 808 kind of filtered out, but what I kind of want to do is I want to just soften this curve. This snare drum is not quite satisfying. I think we can find something more suitable to this. So we're just going to go into our stash kit here. Drop that in there. 
Now for this vocal, what I heard was maybe some sort of automation. So we'll just automate the volume here. You can double click on this automation clip, which will bring up this menu. And normally it'll be this minimum knob will be at the bottom, but we're basically changing how far quiet we go versus how loud it is. This is no automation. This is how I had it with my automation. The DJ scratches are cool, but I feel like that the general vibe of this is kind of a little bit more electronic and EDM-esque. That just kind of elevates it, I think. I think that is already an improvement. We just replaced some drum sounds, messed around with a little bit of levels, added like subtle changes with EQs to kind of make room for kick drums or, or for the 808s and all that. But I think this is sounding pretty good. Let's see the before and after and see if we actually made a, a decent improvement to this song. You guys let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you guys go grab the free beta pack of the sound effects kit that I'm working on and let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time on a video where I think I'm hoping that I'll be showing you guys how to do some sound design stuff, which has highly been requested by you guys. So see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.